We need to work systems which are working at the map we are On the 5th of December 2019, government agencies, private companies, international organizations, learning institutions and various media outlets all convened at the Laiku Regency for media breakfast briefing on the upcoming Kenya Diaspora Homecoming Convention. With the, agenda for. the convention is the sixth of its kind and it is set to take place from the 17th to the 19th of this month at Ole Sereni Hotel under the theme, The Diaspora and the Big Four Agenda. This is an avenue whereby people can come together, they can network, and they can be able to share the opportunities available in this beautiful country, Kenya. It's about connecting and it's about harnessing the power of the diaspora and for those in the diaspora to answer your question to connect through organizations like KDA. Otherwise, you just kind of loosey-goosey kind of where do I go, what do I do, who do I see, what do I, where do I plug in? And that can be a bit overwhelming. This annual go-to event is the brainchild of the Kenya Diaspora Alliance, a federation of 42 diaspora associations with a combined nominal membership of 250,000 Kenyans. Part of what we do mainly is to rally diaspora empower them to the extent that we can and uh, assist them, facilitate them to be connected with businesses, with government, both at the national and county levels for purposes of socio-economic growth. Those expected to be in attendance include the Cabinet Secretary for Devolution, Eugene Wamalwa, the Cabinet Secretary Tourism and Wildlife, Najib Balala, the Australian Ambassador to Kenya, His Excellency Dr. Christian Fellner, and the Danish Ambassador to Kenya, Her Excellency Mette Nutsen, among others. We expect also leaders from AU ECOSOC, uh, that's uh, Af Africa Union Economic, Social and Cultural Council. We're expecting leaders from Namibia, leaders from the US, some are already in town. The convention will be open to all Kenyans in the diaspora, as well as returnees, foreigners domiciled in Kenya or married to Kenyan nationals, as well as Kenyan-owned businesses trading outside the country. Charges, uh, it's a uh, 5,000 shillings per person, f those who pay up front. Um, it will be 6,000 shillings per person for those who come to pay at the door. This year's event is expected to be a platform for economic empowerment for both the Kenyan diaspora and the Kenyan people at large. As you can see, the, the kind of uh, you know, uh, uh, foreign exchange that comes to this particular nation is a talk of town. You know, everybody's, everybody's talking about uh, uh, 200 billion you know, coming to this particular economy. So we need them. We need diaspora more than ever before. Let us try and create a culture that enables the diaspora guys who want to invest back home with reliable farms. We have proper functioning systems, well, companies, not the government, uh, that can be worked with, that can be partnered with, to enable you to be able to want to invest more in real estate back at home. For Chums Media, my name is Michael Zimanji.